Hey guys, how everyone is doing? Uh, so Wednesday, and we have a new jig for you. And this jig actually was a request for one of our customers. He bought a bunch of our jigs and he's really happy with our quality and how everything goes. So he sent us a, a PMAG for a 30 uh, rounds basically. Uh, and everyone knows this one, you know, AR-15, M14 compatible. So we make a jig for it, uh, or fixture. It will work with any laser as always, but we're gonna use it because the request was specifically, we need to use it on our F1. So here are the two sides of the magazine. So in this case, the magazine is said to be like this, and then the next part of the magazine and the other side like this. As you can see, I did a little engraving already, just testing and making sure that all the alignments are fine. Um, so, here it is. I think uh, one of the things that a lot of people wants to do is just a logo right in the center and they go over the entire pattern, but we did it a little bit extra detail. So you have the pattern also on the team uh, template. So you can just engrave in any possible way. So I'm calling this side, you know, facing up, like curve facing up is going to be the back and this is going to be the front. You can call it whatever. It's going to be marking this. But let's do it in this case here. So it's a snug fit because we got, we want to ensure that actually is set in place. So you will see the little mark here on the curve that goes in a line there. And you press it down. And once you hear that, it's going to be aligned at the bottom and on the base perfectly. It has little notches that goes with the shape. So let's put this on the F1 and let's finish this side. And after that, I want to show you how you mask with our template everything to have the ability to do the squares individually in a designs like the flag. Okay, so we're going to put this on the F1. As you know, take your lens cap, don't burn your lens. And if you don't remember that, we have this handy dandy tags. Remove your base plate, like all the jigs basically, and this jig will fit right there. So it has a little bit of wiggle, but it's because they have different tolerances, different machines, that is going to be just fine. It's not even half of a millimeter, so you're gonna be fine there. So focus your laser. Focus your laser, make sure that two dots are in place. And let's go to Excel Creative Space right now. So. What we have here, uh, you're gonna have two files when you buy this because it comes in two parts, right? One for each side. So in this case, I'm on the back one and you will see the shape uh, goes, you know, the arch to the back of the machine, like so. So we have it here. So the template right now, as you can see, has all the areas set. I'll explain the masking on that part. So it's locked, you can't move it. And it's also all set for uh, basically not engraving. It's just like a template. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add the other ad work that I have. Uh, I was working on some other parts. Here are the other parts that I've been working. So I'm gonna add them in place. So I'm gonna add this one here. You'll see this where it goes. I'm going to ungroup this other part and align these other guys properly. So I personally like to work on Adobe Illustrator. Uh, that's my favorite software for editing and working with you know all kind of graphics. So if you hear those dings and everything, probably my son sending me drawings. Most likely, Tiago is, in, is out of school right now and he's sending me drawings. Oh my gosh! Yeah. That's <laughs> sí, justo estábamos, estábamos nosotros filmando un video. Mira, mira la cámara sobre mi hombro. All right, so I just talked with my son. So I have now, he gave me permission to finish working. So now, uh, so you just move the elements on the template where you want them. Basically, the template is going to show you everything, how it's going to be. 
is really easy. Uh, you will see the position and all everything on your laser as well. Once you have everything aligned in the way you want it, select, you know, always what you're gonna do with this. In this case, I wanna use these settings for this specific uh, P Mac, and, and this is the reason. I try two different settings, uh, and I want the really bright white color. Now, this in the second pass. And now we have something way wider. Again, this is an image, this is a vector, so there is always differences. But you can see one thing, I actually put it back and run again the file. And everything is with no ghosting, everything is in the right place. So that's the advantage of usually our jigs or fixtures. So there you have it, it's actually really simple. Uh, this jig is going to be two parts jig, so you have both sides of the magazine and it's going to have two files, two templates, so you open the template based on what side you're using, it's going to be labeled so you don't confuse them, and it's quite simple and I hope you guys enjoy, uh, this is a really profitable product, a lot of people want to customize this, sometimes they already have them, you just charge for the customizable part, and sometimes you can get to sell these things with the uh, engraving and all that. So uh, you have a huge margin uh, because it's just engraving if they have their own and that's really good. Uh, that means that it's only your time and your machine. Uh, as usual, thank you guys. And if you like uh, anything on this, just stay tuned. We're gonna work on the mask, how to do a special masking on this and have a special designs on your magazines.